for most of these works, the important thing is that um, after you have the material, you multiply enough quantities of seed so that you can move on to a level where um, you get the material to the level of farmers. Now, right now, what we are doing, as I explained, is purely under confined field trial. We have applied for a permit to move out of confinement. If the permit is granted, we will need to apply to the National Varietal Release Committee, which is under the National Seed Council of the Ministry of Food and Agriculture. And as part of the requirement for that particular application, we will need to generate a new set of data to meet the process for varietal release. So that one will be done outside confinement and it will be done on farmers' field and at different agroecological zones just to satisfy the agroecological requirement. So we need to make sure that we have enough quantities of seed to move to this particular level where we can conduct these experiments, where we can put together another document to invite the varietal release committee so that they can come and have a look at it. Afterwards, it becomes a variety for farmers to actually cultivate. Once it becomes a variety for farmers to cultivate, we need to demonstrate that we have enough quantities of seed so that farmers don't see the good product that we have, but then they will be denied access to seed. Once they see it and they like it, the seed should be available, and that is what we are actually working towards. That's why we started with about one ton of seed, and we are looking forward to multiplying to beyond that, so that any farmer who wants their material can have access to it when it is released. So, so Karen, how many tons of seeds do you have? So right now we have about one ton of seed in our storerooms. How long has it, uh, has it taken you in the development of this BT copy, and where are we now? And how, when is it likely that farmers will get access to these seeds? So um, it has taken us um, about nine to ten years of research to finally um, produce enough data and to have a material that can go out to farmer. But material development has not ended because we just have one variety. We are looking forward to producing a lot more variety, up to five by the close of um, this particular year that will be available to farmers. Um, right now, where we are is that um, we've sent an application to a biosafety authority and they gazetted that particular application. That was in February. The gazette notice came out um, 18 February 2022. Once that was done, the public was allowed to send inputs or comment and they were given 60 days within which they were supposed to do that. After that, the document was supposed to go for risk assessment where um, people can um, where a technical advisory committee made up of experts who actually understands issues of biotechnology, who understands issues of food production, will assess our application. They will review it and then um, look whether the document that we have submitted, whether it is good enough, whether the product that we want to bring out to farmers, whether it is actually safe to the environment and it is safe for human consumption. So that is actually the kind of technical risk assessment that the Biosafety Authority is currently conducting. Once they are done with that, and if they feel that we have sufficiently provided evidence on the safety of the material that we are generating, they can then move ahead to um, grant us a permit. Usually by law, they are supposed to give us a 10-year permit if they feel satisfied. Then within that particular 10 years, we should be able to move out to get the variety registered with the National Seed Council and then to have it in the hands of farmers to cultivate.